and let her hand till she was in pain. The whip wrapped around the wrist of the mother of Hassan and Hussein. Then the mistress of the universe set out tears in a quiet cry. She shook the earth and the heavenly skies, and she spoke to them behind the door of Al Rasul, words of truth, causing the hateful to burst through. The blood of the oppressor poured from her words of justice and honesty. He attacked like a raging animal, crushing purity and modesty. A wound to the chest by a nail, crushed and pale, she let out a wail. Omar says, when I crushed her behind the door and the wall, I heard her whimper. So then I leaned again till I heard her crack and she calls out, Allah, ya Rasul Allah. Then al Nahim raised his palm and struck the face of Fatima. The tyrant struck the eye in Allah's throne, bruised the face of Al Batur in the Prophet's home. Fatima passed with broken ribs, childless redness in her eye and face. This is how she will present to her father proof of her unjust case. When Ali washed her holy body in the night, he stopped first into tears, sat in the corner of the room. His servant sees him in puzzle, she has. Ya Mawla, you are the Lion of Allah, a strong warrior, what may? He replied, if you felt what I felt, flushing Fatima's body, you would be as I am. As my hands passed over her chest, I felt her bones bulging. I felt her wrist where the whip lashed her. I seen the bruises on her face.